Available now. Link below. Oh, this is a good one. In a jaw-dropping turn of events that has sent shockwaves to the media and political landscape, Ronna Romney McDaniel finds herself ousted from NBC just days after being hired as a contributor. The shocking firing comes on the heels of a blistering on-air attack from the network's own talent, including heavy hitters like Chuck Todd and Rachel Maddow. As McDaniel scrambles to secure legal representation, President Trump himself has weighed in with a characteristically explosive response that should have far-reaching implications. But what led to this sudden and dramatic termination? What does it reveal about the state of American politics and the media's role in shaping public opinion? And perhaps most importantly, what does this mean for the looming 2024 presidential race? So stick around for this special report as we unravel the tangled web of events that led to Ronna Romney McDaniel's unceremonious dismissal and explore the potential fallout from this unprecedented media and political firestorm. And trust me, you don't want to miss my final thought on this one. Now, just like Ronna McDaniel's sudden firing from NBC, many Americans are facing their own financial uncertainties with a trillion dollars in collective debt. It's like a metaphorical pink slip for the nation's financial health. But there is hope. National Debt Relief has helped me regain stability, and they can do the same for you. Their customized plans, free customizations, and zero upfront fees have assisted over 600,000 people in getting out of debt since 2009. They're rated number one across top consumer websites for a reason. And if you're ready to take control of your financial future, visit NoDebtWithGary.com. National Debt Relief's expert team will craft an affordable plan tailored to your unique situation. So don't wait for your own financial firing. Take action now at NoDebtWithGary.com. You'll find the link below. Now, in a stunning development that has left the media world reeling, Ronna McDaniel, the former chairwoman of the Republican National Committee, has been unceremoniously fired from her position as a contributor at NBC News just days after being hired. <laughs> the Trump termination comes in the wake of a fierce on-air revolt led by some of the network's most prominent figures, including Cuck Todd and Rachel Maddow, who took aim at McDaniel's credibility and questioned their motives. Now, the controversy began on Sunday when McDaniel, or I should say Romney McDaniel, made her appearance on uh, a debut appearance on Meet the Press, where host Cuck Todd wasted no time in grilling her about her loyalties. Quote, she's now a paid contributor by NBC News. That's what he declared, saying, I have no idea whether any answer she gave you has was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. She wants us to believe she was speaking for the RNC when the RNC was pay paying for it. So she, she has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? Let's take a look at this moment. Dive right in. What were your takeaways? Look, let me deal with the elephant in the room. Yeah. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. Mm -hmm. um, she wants us to believe that she was speaking for the RNC when the RNC was paying for her. So she has, she has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? What, once at the RNC, she did say that, hey, I'm speaking for the party. I get that. That's part of the job. So what about here? I, I will say this. I think your interview uh, did a good job of exposing, I think, many of the contradictions. And look, there's a reason why there's a lot of journalists at NBC News uncomfortable with this, because many of our professional dealings with the RNC over the last six years have been met with gaslighting, mm. have been met with character assassination. So it is, it, you know, that's where you begin here. And so... Um, when NBC made the decision to give her NBC News' credibility, you got to ask yourself, what does she bring NBC News? And when we make deals like this, and I've been at this company a long time, you're doing it for access. Access to audience. Sometimes it's access to an individual. Mm -hmm. um, and we can have a de journalistic ethics debate about that. And I, 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 I'm willing to have that debate. And if you told me we were hiring her as a technical advisor to the Republican convention, I think that would be certainly um, defensible. If you told me, we're, we're talking to her, but let's, let's see how she does in some interviews and maybe vet her with actual journalists inside the network, see, see if it's a two-way, mm -hmm. what she can bring the network. So I do think, unfortunately, this interview is always going to be looked through the prism of right. who is she speaking for, right. Right? right? I think you did everything you could do 
you got put into an impossible situation yeah. booking this interview and then all of a sudden the rugs pull out from under you you find out she's being paid to show up that's it's unfortunate for this program but i am glad you did the best that you could and that's why the three of us are on here to to try to um bolster that editorial independence well i, I appreciate that <laughs> well this blistering attack sets the stage for a chorus of criticism from other nbc talent with Rachel Maddow even going so far as to compare McDaniel to a mobster. Now, in this clip, Glenn Greenwald Riley comments on the irony of Chuck Todd's mourning NBC's sacred credibility due to Ronna Romney and McDaniel's appearance, noting the low public trust in big media. Now, let's take a look at this. The decision to give her NBC News's credibility, you got to ask yourself, what does she bring NBC News? And when we what what is NBC's news credibility? He's saying, look, we're giving Rhonda McDaniel NBC News's credibility. What is NBC News's credibility at this point? Every poll shows that there are few institutions held in lower esteem than large media corporations like NBC. The public despises these people, despises them. They don't have any credibility in the eyes of the American people. Axios reported at the end of 2023, which has shown you many times, is something like 12% of the American public trust the American media, American television news and newspapers in particular, and believes overwhelmingly that they lie on purpose for political ends. But in their world, they still do have credibility. They're unaware of how much the country hates them or they pretend it's not true. So he's concerned that Ronda McDaniel is now going to be bequeathed with the sterling credibility that Joy Reid and Rachel Maddow and Chuck Todd and Andrea Mitchell have, people who have spent the last seven years spreading the most insane conspiracy theories that Russia is on the verge of cutting off our heat during the winter, and that Donald Trump colluded with the Russians to hack into the DNC emails, and that Hunter Biden's laptop documents were Russian disinformation, lie after lie after lie after lie, he still believes NBC News has some kind of credibility that Ronna McDaniel is now going to contaminate these people who live in a dream world where they're respected and beloved and trusted by the public. <laughs> now, the backlash was swift and severe. And by Tuesday afternoon, NBC News chairman Cesar Conde had released a statement announcing that McDaniels was out. Quote, after listening to the Legitimate concerns of many of you. I have decided that Ronna McDaniel will not be an NBC News contributor. That's what he wrote in a memo to employees, continuing that no organization, particularly a newsroom, can succeed unless it, 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 unless it is cohesive and aligned. Over the last few days, it's become clear that this appointment undermines that goal. Here's more. Breaking tonight, in just the past few minutes, the Washington Post is reporting former RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel is out at NBC News as a paid contributor, less than a week after being hired there. The announcement coming after a loud chorus from NBC hosts, and various talent blasting that hire. Fox News media analyst, host of Media Buzz, Howard Kurtz joins me now with the latest. Good evening, Howie. Brett, good evening. Uh, talk about self-inflicted wounds. It was a spectacular miscalculation by NBC, hiring the ousted RNC chairwoman, Ronna McDaniel, and triggering an on-air revolt by MSNBC's liberal host that intensified last night. Their argument, since McDaniel played a role in Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election, it was unethical to put her on NBC's payroll for a reported $300,000 a year. But that required the MSNBC stars to publicly trash their network bosses. And nobody wanted to be left out, especially its highest paid host. You wouldn't hire a made man like a mobster to work at a DA's office, right? <laughs> that is capitulating right. to an autocrat in advance by saying, yes, we will take your apparatchik and allow them to be elevated and platformed with us with journalists. But we've also said to election deniers is not just they can do that on our airwaves, but that they can do that as one of us, as badge carrying employees of NBC News, as paid contributors to our sacred airwaves. But the sacred airwaves have had McDaniel on as a guest and MSNBC president Rashida Jones told of the hiring in advance did not object. At almost any other news outlet, talent castigating the brass like this would be shown the door. After McDaniel's appearance on Meet the Press, NBC executives also appeared worried about alienating the largely liberal audience. 
MSNBC's sacred airwaves often refuse to air Donald Trump's speeches, even on primary nights. And while the channel employs prominent Republicans and ex-Republicans such as Nicole Wallace and Michael Steele, they are anti-Trump Republicans. So what damage would have been done if McDaniel occasionally voiced pro-Trump sentiments, with most of MSNBC portraying him as a danger to democracy? Insiders say the situation had become so untenable that NBC and Ronald McDaniel were destined to part company just four days after the network announced her hiring with great fanfare. What's clear is... <laughs> I'll never forget when I met Ronna Romney McDaniel in Milwaukee, when I met President Trump. And I just wanted to go up and shake her hand, say hello, introduce myself. Clearly, she saw the guest list. And she saw my name on that list. Now, of course, I have roasted Rana Romney McDaniel time and time again on this channel for years. Not just because of her, you know, her, her DNA, her lineage, her connection to Mittens, but because she is an insider at the GOP or was and has been working to undermine the Trump agenda since she was appointed. And I believe, I believe she was appointed simply as a concession because Donald Trump wouldn't pick Mitt Romney to be the Secretary of State, but that's another conversation. But when I met her, I went up to, to go shake her hand just to say hello. Oh man, she dodged me. She must have dodged me like three times. Oh yes, Rana, you know who I am and I know who you are and we've all got your number. Now, but the fallout from McDaniel's firing, it didn't end there. In a stunning move, Creative Artists Agency, the Hollywood talent agency that had negotiated the deal with NBC, promptly dropped her as a client. McDaniel, for her part, is said to be exploring her legal options and seeking new representation. Perhaps the most explosive response, however, came from none other than former President Donald Trump himself. In a blistering post on his true social platform, he celebrated McDaniel's ouster and took aim at what he called the radical left lunatics at NBC. Now, in this image, we see the post from Donald Trump on his Truth Social platform. The post reads, wow, Ronna McDaniel got fired by fake news NBC. She only lasted two days, and this was after McDaniel went out of her way to say what they wanted, her, what they wanted to hear. It leaves her in a very strange place, and it's called Never Never Land. And it's not a place you want to be. These radical left lunatics are crazy, and the top people at NBC are weak. They were broken and embarrassed by low ratings, highly overpaid talent, bring back free and fair press, make America great again. Now, his fiery response underscores the deep divisions that continue to royal American politics, even as the 2024 presidential race begins to take shape. Many observers see McDaniel's firing as a sign of the growing tension between the Republican establishment and the populist Trump-aligned wing of the party. So, what does all of this mean for the future of the GOP and the coming battle for the White House? Well, one thing is clear, the Trump factor looms large over everything. With the former president's allies, like perhaps McDaniel, to some people believe she's now, I don't believe she is, but her being pushed out of positions of influence and Trump himself waiting in the wings, ready to launch up his his bid to go back into the White House, of course, has already been launched, but it sets the stage for a bitter and divisive season. So there are also broader questions about the role of the media in our hyperpartisan age. When even a conservative voice like McDaniel is deemed too controversial for a supposedly neutral news organization like NBC, it raises serious concerns about the state of our political discourse. But if you got value from this report, tap subscribe, because now it's time for my final thought. In the end, the saga of Ronna McDaniel's firing from NBC News is a cautionary tale about the perils of trying to straddle the fault lines of our deeply divided political landscape. For those seeking to navigate the treacherous waters of partisan media, the lesson is clear. In a world where even the slightest hint of ideological impurity can be grounds for excommunication, there may be no safe harbor. But perhaps the most troubling aspect of the whole affair is what it reveals about the state of our national conversation. When a major news network is willing to fire a contributor simply for expressing views that run afoul of the prevailing orthodoxy, it suggests a media ecosystem that is increasingly intolerant of dissent and diversity of thought. And that, in the end, is the very threat to the foundation of our republic.
Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.